Hey, it's Alex here from alexfigures.com and today I have another mouth taping product review. Now, if you've been following, following my videos for the last few weeks, you would have seen I've already done a few uh, mouth taping product reviews. This is, I believe, the third uh, and I do have some more coming up, so be sure to subscribe to check them out. What I've been doing is testing each of these products to see how well they perform as a mouth taping strip which in turn allows you to um, restrict mouth breathing and instead breathe through the nose at night. Now, I won't get into the health uh, benefits of this because it is rather extensive and that's not what this video is about. Instead, I want to see how this particular product, a Band-Aid paper tape that I'm using today, how well it works, how well it sticks, the cost, um, and other things you should know if you are going to use this as a mouth taping product. What I'm doing is testing these products over five key categories. And for each category, I'm going to give my thoughts and an end score. Once I've tested all these products, five, six, seven products, what I'm going to do is a, a big comparison video where I line them all up and uh, I do one big overview. So be sure to subscribe for that as well. Now this product is a Band-Aid paper tape from Johnson & Johnson. Now, this isn't designed or marketed as a mouth taping product. Uh, it's not like the Somnifix or the Myotape, which are purposely created for mouth taping. This was actually the first product I used when I got into mouth taping about five years ago, maybe six years ago. Um, since then, I, I've obviously branched out and tested a lot of these other products. But I wanted to include this in my review series because, like I said, it does work rather well and it's quite cheap. Now, real quick, before I start sharing my feedback yet, like I said, this isn't a specific mouth taping product. It's just a roll of tape. As you can see here, it's a tape. What I do when using this as a mouth strip is I simply rip or cut a couple inches, usually about two or three inches, and then stick that on, on my mouth like so. Uh, so this is what I am testing. This two, three inch strip of paper tape, all right? So now that we know that, let's see how the paper tape stacks up in my five round uh, review. So first up, we look at stickability. How well does it stick? Does it stay on all night? Is it too sticky? Um, so I've given the Band-Aid paper tape a score of three out of five. Now my requirements for a score of three read that the product stays on all night, but if you remove it once, it's not very good for the rest of the night. And that's true, that's bang on true for this. Pretty much in a nutshell, you get one shot. So if I just take off a little bit here, rip it off, you put it on at the start of the night. If for some reason you have to take it off, whether it's to drink or to talk, or you know you, you just need a breath of uh, air through your mouth, then if you put it back on, it will still stick, but it's not as sticky. Every time you apply it and take it off, it's losing a lot of that stick stickability, as I call it. Now, um, you compare this to a product like Somnifix or even um, you know the Myotape and stuff like that, then you those things are very, very sticky. So this doesn't have the same level of stickiness, even though you can't really fault it because it's not designed to stay on the mouth all night. Most nights it does stay on all night if I haven't removed it. There have been a few times when I've woken up and it's coming off or I feel it peeling off or it has come off completely. Typically, that's a result of a couple of things. One, it gets wet, and that could be because I was drooling and I didn't get a good seal and my mouth was slightly open. I got a little bit of draw on there. I know, it's kind of disgusting, but hey, it happens. Um, secondly, it's a result of me talking or at least trying to talk. You know, maybe, I don't know, I get up and I say something uh, and I find that speaking creates a bit of moisture and once you get a bit of moisture on this, it, it just effectively becomes paper. Um, well, thirdly, I've just put it on real bad and, you know, it's been on the on my moustache or on my beard and it just doesn't get a good stick. But most nights, it does stay on all night. Uh, and as for using this multiple nights in a row, yeah, it's just not going to happen. It's at most a one night application. Like I said, some nights I do get up and I have to take a drink of water. I'll take it off and I'll just put on another fresh strip that I rip off, of course. All right, next up we look at safety. How safe is this product? First things first, it is a hypoallergenic, non-irritating tape. And um, if you've watched my previous videos, I do react to regular um, band-aids and tape products. I get a bit of a rash. I don't get that with this tape, and I've been using this for a long time, on and off. Um, so that's a good thing. 
However, it's not really good as a mouth taping product. In fact, I'm only gonna give it a two out of five. And there's a couple reasons why it's not very good. The first thing is, it's quite hard to remove. As I mentioned many times, this isn't designed as a mouth taping strip. It is simply a piece of tape, which means the whole face of the tape is sticky. Right to the corners, right to the edge. If you put it on your mouth and you get a good seal, there's no tab that sticks out like say on a Somnifex, um, and there's no way to quickly release it that other, other products have. You know, you can uh, drive your tongue into it or just open your mouth real fast and it will pop open. That doesn't happen with this, which can mean that sometimes you wake up in a panic or I don't know, something's going on or you're just freaking out and you need to rip it off and it can be very tricky. In fact, I have woken up some nights, you know, my boy's been crying and, and I want to go up, go out and comfort him and I'm struggling to, to get this tape off. I find that once you put it on straight away, you can quickly remove, remove it, but after a few hours of sleeping with it, it seems to get quite a good seal going on. And um, because there's no little lip on the end, you're, you're literally trying to peel it off, like trying to find a corner to peel. Now sometimes I'll, I'll find a corner and I'll pull it and it'll actually rip the tape in half so you still have half of it on or you still have a seal over your mouth and that's even more frustrating and then you start panicking a little bit. So yeah, it's really, um, it's really not good for that in that sense. Secondly, it doesn't allow any mouth breathing. Like most of these tapes have a little bit of a safety vent or a way that you can still mouth breathe if you really have to, such as you, you know, you're new to mouth breathing or I don't know, you're congested or something like that. Once this is on, especially if you're using a big strip, there's no way um, that you can mouth breathe. So that is another big uh, disadvantage. Because that is a concern, especially if there's a risk of vomiting or choking or something like that, um, you you don't want a full seal on your mouth. So another big disadvantage. And um, thirdly, I have heard of someone who was wearing this and they woke up and it was actually in their mouth. Uh, how that happened, I'm not too sure, but I have heard of that scenario a couple times actually in, in, on online. So like I said, it's not the safest product. I should mention though that you can get around all these things by using a smaller piece of tape, say a one inch strip and what you do here is you just put it on the middle like so this allows you to talk a little bit this allows you to talk a little bit mouth breathe out of the, the sides and it's a lot easier to pull off because you have a bit of leverage opening your mouth there and of course you can pull it from the side so that's that's how you could drastically improve the safety rating out of this um, paper tape. However, the, the downside I found with that is, like I said earlier, if you get a bit of moisture on here, um, the stickiness just evaporates pretty much. So if you, I have done this before where you wear it just like so, but I find just as a bit of breath or um, you get a bit of drooling or if you talk a few times and you get some moisture on it, it soon just peels off and then you lose the whole effectiveness of you using a mouth tape. So that's why I'm giving it a two out of five for this round. Next up, we have practicality. How well does it work? Now, it actually works surprisingly well and it's a big reason why I keep using this because I know it does work. Sure, it's got all those downsides that I've just mentioned above. You know, you may have to get a fresh strip at night time. Um, there are the safety concerns. But for stopping you mouth breathing and having you breathe through the nose, it does, it does work really, really good. The bigger the strip, the bigger the coverage area, the better the performance. Obviously, if you go down small, like I just mentioned, you lose a bit of the performance gains. Um, but even with a small strip, you do, you do still get a reasonably good seal. So that's a good way to start out. Uh, but it's not necessarily perfect I because it can come off and because um it's not quite thick enough like ideally it would probably be a little bit thicker sometimes if you apply it not in the best way you might wake up and you realize it slipped a little bit so for those reasons I'm giving it a four out of five for practicality all right next up we look at price now I paid nine dollars New Zealand for this 9.1 meter roll of tape this is just from my supermarket you can get it from most grocery stores uh, pharmacies you know just any sort of place. You don't need to get this online. Now I'm sure you can find it cheaper online. I converted the price into US dollars and it works out to be $6.30. Again, if you're in the States, chances are you'll get it even cheaper than that. Um, and 9.1 meters works out to be 30 feet. So if you're using two and a half inch strips, which is roughly what I'm using, you'll get 140 strips out of this, 140 nights if you only use one a night. If you are only using one a night, based on those sums, 
one night strip works out to be four and a half cents, which is like 10 to 20 times cheaper than some of the other products I've reviewed. It is very, very cheap. And that is probably the biggest thing going for this as a mouth taping product. Um, of course, it's not a specialized mouth taping product. Uh, and I've explained that many times and there are downsides to that, but it does do a pretty good job. And that's why it makes it such good value. I mean, a couple dollars for half a year, uh, it's, it's, you know, you're not having to fork out $30, $40 for a month's worth of products. It's actually quite a good way to get into the mouth taping space. Though again, remember those safety issues I mentioned before. It's not designed as a mouth taping product. Now there's no chance for multiple use, so you can't really stretch that, uh, this product out even further. But with four cents, four and a half cents a night, you don't really have to. But anyway, given that the price is so low, I give this a full five out of five for the value round. Last but not least, we look at everything else. So first up, let's look at appearance. So it's not pretty wearing this, but it doesn't look as ridiculous as some other products I've tested. Um, the thing is, I, I personally rip the tape by hand. So you get a, you know, a rather rough looking piece of tape. Now, if someone sees that, it, it's not necessarily ridiculous, but kind of strange. Like, hey, what's that random piece of tape doing on your mouth? Um, at least if it's a perfectly cut, like nicely designed strip, it's it's more of a, okay, that's obviously meant to be there, why is it there kind of thought. But um, with something like this, it's just a random piece of paper tape that's been ripped roughly around the edge and it's almost like, how did that end up on your mouth? Let me show you. See what I mean? It's, it's a bit of an odd one there, uh, but my wife is kind of used to it. What she doesn't like though is these random bits of tape ending up on the pillow or on the sheets or on the back of a book because sometimes it does come off uh, like I said or you take it off during the night and you stick it somewhere and it'll catch on something else and it kind of blends in uh, if you've got white sheets or a white pillow. So um, the good thing is though on the mess front there isn't that much mess. I mean you, you have obviously the packaging when you get it but then you just carry around this tape, this roll of tape and each night you just strip off another one and the build up of mess isn't like say the Somnifix where you have layers upon layers and plastic and all that. So the mess isn't too bad. Ease of application is very good. It's simple to put on, take a bit, rip, away you go. Though it can be a bit tricky getting it a good seal, um, but it's not, it's not as hard as say the Myotape which is very sticky and very hard to apply. Um, can you talk with it? It depends. If you do the full you know, two and a half strip like I have here, let me show you. So if you couldn't understand that, I said it is rather hard to talk. Now if I just go with a smaller strip, which is a lot safer, but you lose some of the um, practicality here. And I've just pulled that off and I've pulled out a hair, facial hair. So let me show you how it is talking with this. It's a lot easier to talk like this, but you do lose the seal on the side. Um, and as for travel, yeah, I mean, hey, you just chuck one of these in your bag, strip off a little bit, rip off a little bit, and away you go. And at this price point, you know, five, six dollars for a roll, you can just buy, say, five of these and leave one in your travel bag, leave one in your, I don't know, your spare room in case you're sleeping in there one night, whatever. Like, you can afford it. It's so much, um, so much easier. So overall, for the other everything else round, I'm going to give it a three out of five. Now, that brings the total score out to 18 out of 25, which is rather decent given that this product isn't designed and, and marketed as a mouth strip product. Um, the main plus side is the simplicity and the, the value. The downside though is that safety. If you are new to mouth breathing or you're very conscious about waking up and gasping for air, then you may want to use something like the Myotape or Somnifix that are designed, you know, with safety features built in. The worst thing I guess with this is waking up in the middle of the night and you want to talk. Like like I said, with my boys screaming from a nightmare or you freak out some, someone's outside or something like that and you want to get it off in a hurry, there are times when I've really struggled and you can't breathe, you can't talk, well you can breathe through your nose, but you can't breathe through the mouth, you can't talk and you're struggling to get it off and then you manage to find a corner, you pull it and it rips like a tiny bit off and you're str it, yeah, that's not great. I mean, in fact, that's one of the biggest downsides I have with this. Um, but if you're willing to put up with that or um, at least if you're happy making a smaller strip so you've got edges so you can pull it off and still talk and still breathe, then it's, it's actually quite a neat product. The only downside is, of course, with the smaller strip, it doesn't work as well. But hey, for someone starting out, especially on a budget, 
this is probably one of the best products you can use. Now, I've still got some other products to test, so maybe my conclusion there will change after I've tested these other products. Be sure to subscribe and I will be testing these other products and um, re revealing my, my feedback and my scores here on this channel. And then once I have tested all five, six products on the market, I will be sitting down and doing a big comparison and comparing each product and each category. And hopefully that will give you uh, the information you need to make an informed decision and buy the product that best suits your objectives and budget. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, leave any questions or comments below, and uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe because I will have more of these videos coming out. All right guys, I will see you soon.